This is the final video in the Century of Deformation Fire Rescue Team Fire Warrior Combiner Team Set uh, Series video thing, watch him and cheer. This is one where we, where we take all, uh, all five of these guys and combine them into one awesome massive dude. Now, I've transformed uh, these guys into robot mode because it's easier to get to their limb mode from robot mode. And these guys are in vehicle mode because it's easier to do it from vehicle mode for them. If you have any questions about how these guys work, I've referred to their, um, to their actual review videos. Now, to start off with, I'm going to uh, make the feet. So that when we start building this guy up, we have something to uh, stand him on. So I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to focus on these guys. I'll focus on not groove first because um, he's actually most of the way done. I uh, start off with him going to fold this out because um, as much as I like how this thing helps him balance when he's in robot mode, um, when he has all the die cast of the entire set on him, I really don't want that much weight put on the windscreen. Um, let's see, we will open up the little hand cavities here, we'll put them away, we'll rotate these cannons away, do the same thing on the other side, come on, pop open, we'll pull these forward just a little bit, we'll open up these back sections here, if any of that was off camera I apologize, but it's the same thing I showed you when I was, um, uh, uh, transforming them into robot mode. You'll pull, you'll push this up to the view mode position, and then you'll put this in so it's flush with this section here. And this is where these things come into play. These little tabs right here will go into here, and this is what will make the combiner port nice and solid. You need to make sure that it all gets tabbed in together. And now this thing's not going in anywhere, and I think over time maybe this will break because it's a little bit of a flexible plastic. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. But at least for now, this is a solid connector port. Then you will uh, fold up the arms on the side like this. And fold these back. Just get everything all tabbed together as much as you can. And I like to just push these back like that. And this is one of the legs. And yes, it is kind of a weird looking leg. Um, it's as weird as Groove being a leg. And um, it is a little bit unfortunate uh, just because it looks kind of weird. But um, it kind of works. I'll talk about that a little bit when we get to the, um, to the combined mode. So I'll just... Put it there, put it off to the side. Now we'll, we'll look at not first aid. And this guy is uh, kind of interesting. You're going to pop the sides off. And then you're going to split the front like this. You're going to pop these forward. You're going to use that telescoping joint I showed you earlier. It's only used in this mode. It's, you'll bring it all the way out. like this, and then you will swing the feet forward at this hinge in here. And uh, it takes a little bit of doing to get all of this uh, pushed back together in the leg mode because um, you have to make sure these things tab together while making sure these hooks go into those sections right here and making sure that the uh, these things are properly aligned too back here so that there's no bias to one direction or the other. And um, the first couple of times you do it, it's really hard, and it never gets easier. Uh, that time, well, except it's still not quite tabbed together right. Like sometimes I have to untab everything and retab everything several times before it fits quite right. It, it's just really awkward to do. Um, let's see, there we have it. Then you'll close these down. Fold these down, you'll push these to the back again, and then these little heel spurs will come out. And um, I'm a little bit worried about uh, these things taking a lot of the weight of the figure because, like, uh, um, it's a decent bar of plastic in there, especially for where the weight's going to be put on it. But I'm kind of worried about it breaking sometime. Um, we'll see. Now I'll put this off to the side. It stands just fine. Now we're going to look at the excavator, and we're going to turn this into the uh, thighs. Now to do this, oops, did I hit the camera? Uh, we'll fold these up like that, and like that, and then we'll rotate them down like this. Then we will turn this back like this, 
And then we'll open up this little hip plate here and let's see, where did that little piece go? Here it is. Um, this little piece I showed you that broke off, what this thing is supposed to do is just sit right here and fill in a tiny gap in the robot mode that honestly, if I never had this piece to begin with, I never would have noticed. So it's really not that big of a deal, but considering that something did break on this guy uh, before I even got it, do keep in mind that there is potentially a, um, a uh, noticeable um, issue with quality control of this series or with this set. And anyway, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to split the shovel like this. And they're going to rotate it around like this. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the scoops, we're going to turn them around. And I don't think this is official or anything like this, but it's what I do. Then I put them together like this, and then I bring it up, and then I kind of shove it in between these things to hold it together, and then I fold this back as far as it'll go. And that keeps this thing uh, kind of locked into place. Because if you don't do this or something similar, then you just have little uh, uh, excavator arms just hanging all over the place. So we'll leave this back, and we'll put this off to the side for now. Um, actually, I suppose we could put the um, feed in. What will happen is you will put it in on the side, then you'll rotate it in like that. And it's a pretty solid connection, even though it is a little bit atypical. Um, you'll do the same thing on this one. You will rotate it around. And then you will... Oops. Try and get it all set so it's even. One thing I've noticed about this set, and it's kind of odd, is that, um, okay, I guess it didn't really work that time. Uh, something that I've noticed about this set that's really weird is that this leg here, each time I transform it, it's at a, it, it gets a different length. Sometimes it's a lot longer, sometimes it's a lot shorter, and that does make it a little bit difficult to um, make it so that he stands even with his legs, uh, or so that both legs are even. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is yet. I imagine over time I'll figure it out, and it won't be as big of a problem, but it is something to uh, keep in mind. And it's probably the uh, worst thing about this robot mode, just that this issue exists at all with uh, variable leg length. But anyway, um, there we have the legs on the lower body there. I'll put this off to the side, and we'll transform the torso next. So we're going to transform this guy. I'm going to pop off the crane and I'll just turn it into the little gun real quick. There we go, put it off to the side. <coughs> now this thing has a very interesting transformation. To start off with, we're going to pop these little tabs out, rotate them to the front, and that will let these things, um, uh, these little wheel things uh, move out to the side, which is necessary because you're going to push this forward and tab it in right there. And that will um, push the tires out to the side. And uh, But what's more is that will also um, free this up so that we can split this apart down here. We're going to take these things out to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them up here. And there's a tab here and a slot here. Now, when I first got this guy, there's a little tab on the underside of this hinge here, and that's supposed to attach around the uh, side here, but um, it is very difficult to get off and on if you do that, and it's not necessary for um, keeping the entire upper body uh, solid together when you uh, tab it together like this. Uh, so I ended up just uh, cutting that off. Um, just for peace of mind, and you'll see why, uh, after everything's all folded together, why it really doesn't need that extra tab to be super duper solid. So we'll rotate this up and do the same thing over here, like that. Fold those to the side. Then we're going to come under here, and we're going to pull out the head. We're going to rotate it out like this. And let's see if I can show you. This thing has blazing light piping, it's really nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use these little tabs I showed you earlier, and they are going to tab into the back of these pieces here. And this is why I say that that extra little tab really isn't necessary, because after you get this in, these things are not going anywhere. And uh, if you really want to, you can rotate the uh, robot mode head to the side here, so that it's more like a spark crystal or something than just a head off to the side. And anyway, this is the uh, torso of the set. And the way it combines with the upper body is 
there's these little tabs right here and right here that will go into these slots here and here. And then the screw holes here and here will plug onto these pegs here and here. And it's a little bit difficult to do just because some of the parts are so tight. And I find it's easier if you detach this from here while you're doing it. And you press it down as hard as you can. Then you tab it back. And then you bring this up and you tab it on. And once you get that all tabbed together, it is super duper solid and it is not going anywhere. And uh, that is the first part of the torso. I'm going to, let me split the legs a little bit. I'm going to put it off to the side. Next, we're going to look at the um, not hot spot. We're going to turn them into the arms. So to do this, we are going to come back to this tab I showed you when I was showing off his robot mode. I am going to pop it off, and then I'm going to uh, pop these off. <coughs> Excuse me. Which will let me uh, separate them out like this. Now I'm going to pop this in, and I'm going to push this up to the vehicle mode position like this. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to tab it into here like this. Keep that back up. I'm going to rotate this down and turn it just a little bit. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to close this, open this, and then open up his little toesies here to make his hand like that. Uh, I'm going to rotate this to the side like that. There's no real comfortable place to put this thing right here. I find that uh, just turning it so that the inside is pointing up is the best. And you'll rotate this little connector port here. And if you think that looks dinky, um, it kind of is, but it works. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean uh, in just a little bit. Then we'll take the little gun and it will, um, this tab will go in here, and then this tab will go into there like that. And then here we have one of the arms. Do the same thing to the other side, just about. Open this up, fold it in, rotate this up, bring it in like this, tap it in like that, rotate, rotate, pop that up, fold this down, fold this up, and then we'll do the hand transformation like this. And these things actually can fold up into some pretty decent fists like that. And um, this is actually the uh, fist articulation there is uh, at the knuckle and at the uh, second knuckle. Um, I tend to just leave them in the fist and you do get a little bit of uh, inwards rotation there. But anyway, moving on. Now we will attach these to the figure. Let's see if I can get him standing a little bit more straight. He is still at a little bit of an angle. And I'm just not, sometimes this is not an issue at all. Uh, sometimes it is um, a pretty big problem. I, I'm just not sure what the difference is. Um, just know that half the time I play with this guy, the legs just stand perfectly straight. It's uh, it's just odd. I don't know what to think about it. I am not entirely sure how to fix it either. Anyway, close enough, good enough for the review. Um, I've mentioned the issue. I can't do anything more about it this time. We'll take this and it will plug into this section right here. And it's a super long peg that takes a while to go in, but look at that. It holds, and like this thing has a ton of die casts in it, and it still holds. It's really impressive that it works at all. We'll do the same thing to the other side. And this is Fire Warrior in his robot mode. See if I can straighten them out just a tad bit more. There, that's that's a little bit better. Part of the problem is like he's going to show up tilted on camera, but my camera's also tilted a bit. In person, he's a tad bit straighter, even though he is still tilted a little bit. Actually, part of the problem might just be that I had his chest pegged on it, so I didn't go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. 
Anyway, this guy looks pretty awesome. The motorcycle legs a little bit odd, uh, except I like this guy so much. I really wouldn't mind having a second not first aid to put on to this leg. I may order one from Sir Toy sometime just so I can have one that will always, or hopefully always stand straight since I do have the length issue with this leg that I really don't understand yet. Um, if I ever do figure it out, I'll make a uh, <coughs> an update video where I talk about it. Um, you can adjust it a little bit by um, fiddling with these things. It's uh, odd to do though. Um, but, but you can do that. But anyway, this guy's big, he's super heavy, and he's super solid. Like, those are uh, shoulder uh, joints. They don't seem like they would work, but they really do. Now, for articulation, you can rotate the arms around 360, assuming nothing bumps into anything else. And they'll hold in any position just about. And uh, they don't really come out too much, maybe just a little bit. Then you also get a uh, in and out hinge right here. And then at the elbow, you're using the uh, not hot spots uh, hip, so you can go up, uh, not quite 90 degrees, but just a little bit. You also have a rotation up after the elbow. Um, and then you can also rotate it like this to kind of simulate a, uh, a bicep swivel. So it's odd, but considering how the joints are reused, it works quite well. Um, and it's the same on both sides. I already showed the hand articulation. Um, the head does not turn. You can just look up and down. That's because of how it's on that little swing bar. Uh, the legs, they can go forward and back like I showed when I was um, moving these in the transformation. They can go in and out. But because of the way that the uh, lower legs are kind of odd, you can't really get too much out of the knees or anything. Um, like how this uh, knee joint is actually bent back an extra click. That means that this leg can't go uh, move back any further at all, even though this one can. Um, you can finagle it a little bit so that um, by changing like the uh, how stuff is connected on this guy to uh, uh, change the length a little bit, it'll uh, drastically reduce the, the solidity of it. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can use it to, to get some poses out of him. I generally don't think it's worth the effort because um, then you also run the risk of, oh, I have uh, posed him and now he might fall over. Um, and I think he's a pretty solid figure, but I don't want him to fall over. So this guy, like, he doesn't compare to Combiner Wars Devastator, but he's... He, I think he's better than a lot of the Combiner War stuff we've had recently because, like, the Combiner War stuff, I can't get it to stand either except for straight up and down, maybe a couple other poses because most of the um, hips on those things are awful and the default feet are terrible too. So, um, if you are uh, wanting to get, like, a big Combiner, um, this thing is only a little bit more expensive or about as much as a uh, full Combiner War set. Except they have to pay for uh, shipping, which can be really expensive. So for something that looks this awesome, and like, let me show you what it looks like from the back. Like, that is pure beefcake. Like, robot die-cast beefcake. He looks awesome from the back. Uh, for something that is this cool, in so many ways, that is not a bunch of remolds, I actually really do like this guy, and I do recommend it quite a bit, with the caveat that... I don't know how long, uh, it, it, how long, how uh, how much longevity he has because you saw uh, a part break in one of the uh, reviews on this guy. This thing came broken. The uh, shoulder connections might get really, really loose over time. Um, some of the uh, joints in here feel a little bit fragile, like the knees here, and. Um, I don't know how much play he can really stand. Now, I've talked to some people about this before, and apparently he can stand being dropped just fine. Um, I'm not going to test that out, but um, apparently he, uh, he does have quite a bit of lasting time, but I can't attest to that myself just yet. I may make a video in the future where I talk about that a little bit, but um, for about 130 shipped, um, it's only a little bit more than getting all five parts of a Combiner Wars figure, especially if you're buying this stuff on eBay anyway. Um, and for something that is quite a bit more fun and quite a bit uh, more interesting, I think at least this is way better than most of the normal Combiner Wars figures. And if you are into Power Ranger stuff, then uh, this thing blows away just about any uh, Megazord because he has great arm articulation, the option of leg articulation, except that you don't really have to use it and uh, all the individual guys have the robot mode. So this guy is a pretty big win in my book. I, I just have some couple concerns about um, uh, 
about the quality of it, especially because like he has so much metal and he's so heavy and I'm concerned about like the connection joint right here maybe breaking over time or the um the weight put onto that little tab on the back of his heel here or the weight being put on his uh, wheels here. I foresee that this guy might catastrophically break sometime in the future. And that's really the biggest problem I have with this guy because otherwise this guy is just really cool and I do like him quite a bit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video review. I review tons of stuff, Power Rangers, Transformers, um, uh, Brave stuff, lots of stuff like that. If it sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.